Let's talk a little bit about the historian to close it out. Okay. Canary's historian, similar to like OSI Pi and the Wonderware historian and other historians, is a time series historian, right, Alex? Mm -hmm. And that differs from like a database historian as something like the Ignition historian. Can you give us like the super quick difference between what we get with time series and what we get with something like our Ignition historians? Sure. So time series is basically time value quality. Mm -hmm. Um, data. So you're just looking at the value of tags at a particular time and if they have good quality or bad quality mm -hmm. and whatnot. And that allows the data to be compressed. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to store the same amount of data in a time series historian as you do in just a raw database like an ignition mm -hmm. historian, it's going to take up less space and mm -hmm. generally be quote unquote more performant mm -hmm. uh, because it's optimized specifically for that type of data. Mm -hmm and you're not necessarily doing something different than time series data in a ignition historian, it's just the back end is structured okay. differently. You're still getting data quality values and timestamps. Okay. Um, time series is generally a little better suited to like Boolean floating point and integer values yeah. because you're typically not doing like string values. Mm -hmm. In a, in a historian, but those are, everybody says those are the most expensive things to do on the database side. You know, a time series historian is a product that's specifically designed for collecting data that happens at okay. time periods. And it gives you the capability and, you know, the, the tools that Canary provides to interact with their data. They're designed specifically for that in mind. Yeah. Uh, and it's all browser-based and HTML5. And you could embed this in your ignition window so you get Axiom in your ignition client or your pr perspective clients uh, out of the box. For many people, like the ignition system that they're building on and they want more different charting tools or trending tools, they want the ability to easily export and kind of drill in on Excel and it makes it better. Mm -hmm. So most people, if you're looking at an historian to add on to your ignition, platform, this is really good. The, the licensing structure is similar to the licensing structure of Ignition. Our quick sales pitches, if you're interested in learning more, please contact us. And if we don't know, we'll, we'll connect you guys with the super smart people over at Canary Labs. Like, comment, subscribe below. Alex and I are going to put together some more content talking about how we have gone and actually imported OSI Pi tags and Wonderware Historian tags. And you can check that on the next course of video. Catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.